Hi everyone, my name is Josh Horton and I'm a conservation educator here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the common snapping turtle. So as the name might suggest, these guys are pretty common throughout Kentucky. They're statewide, you can find them most everywhere. And you're going to be finding them in places like ponds, streams, lakes, rivers, anywhere with slow moving water or still water. So when you're out fishing, you might see one, or if you've got a farm pond in your backyard, you might see them there. You really won't find them in a place with fast moving waters or like strong currents or anything like that. And that is partially because of their diet. So their regular diet consists of fish, frogs, insects, things like that, and a little bit of vegetation every now and then. They can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes underwater, so it gives them plenty of time to search and hunt for their food. Now, uh, one distinction I want to point out is between the common snapping turtle and the alligator snapping turtle. We have both here in Kentucky, but there's a couple of differences, pretty big differences. One is that the alligator snapping turtle is extremely rare. The common snapping turtle is pretty common, as I mentioned. Another distinction is that the alligator snapping turtle has these large keels on its shell. These large ridges, they're pretty sharp, the snapping turtle doesn't have that. The common snapping turtle does. The alligator snapping turtle also is generally much larger. It's got a much larger head, they weigh a lot more, but you're only going to find them in the western Kentucky. You're not gonna find them anywhere else in Kentucky. So the common snapping turtle that we have here at Salado, he is about three to four years old, we're guessing. In the wild, common snapping turtles can live up to about 30 years, but in captivity, they can live up to potentially 50 years old. On average, adults get about 15 to 20 pounds, and our snapping turtle is about nine right now, so he has a lot of growing gear to still. So, here today at the Salado Center is snapping turtle feeding day. So I'm actually gonna show you guys that, but before I do, I wanna tell you how we do it here. So as I previously mentioned, the things that they eat are fish, frogs, um, crayfish, things like that. We feed him that here at the Slato Center in addition to frozen mice, but everything we feed him is frozen. So the first thing we do is we thaw the food. Once the food is thawed and ready to go, we actually take it back here. There's a small room behind this tank where we feed him. We actually have our snapping turtle train to come up to the top. We have tongs that we use for the food, and we tap four times on our top of the tank. He comes right up. And this allows us to get him out of the water if we need to, to weigh him and do things like that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and feed him here, and hopefully you guys will be able to see him some good snapping action. everybody. I hope you enjoyed the feeding presentation. I hope you learned a little bit about the common snapping turtle today. One quick thing I want to mention is that it's springtime now. You might see a lot of turtles trying to cross the road, including the common snapping turtle. If you see that and you can do it safely, you can help them across. Uh, let them stay in the wild though. That's the best for them. It's the best for everybody. Uh, if you have any questions about today's video, you can leave them in the comments below. And thank you all for watching.